In sports, Scott Smith makes us call the plays. But in politics, we put him to the test. Time now for Call It with Scott Smith. All right, let's welcome back Scott Smith. Boy, you've had a great run here. You're yeah. looking good. The average is looking good. Let's it's take a look up. at the scoreboard here. Yeah, you are making some hay here. Not where I'd here. like to be, though. Oh, but you're getting there. This yeah. is, this I is demand looking, more out of myself. Pretty good. Well, this is a good opportunity for you to, do uh, to make up some more ground here. You're on quite a roll here. We're going to start with our own junior senator, Marco Rubio. Okay. He says something pretty interesting. Here, take a look. A world where more people are free to grow their economies, free to pursue their dreams, free to become prosperous. They're free to become prosperous. He's not free to say. What, yeah. what happens next? Does he blank out because he forgets the last page of his speech? Mm -hmm. Does he blank out because he reaches for water and there is no water there and oh. people kind of laugh at him? Yeah. Uh, does he tell a horribly cringeworthy corny joke and instead of getting laughter draws booze for it? Or uh, D, does he realize at that moment that, that his be. pants are unzipped? Uh, D, I don't think D is possible. Yeah. Uh, you know. We've you seen said that before, my friend. Has he? No, you said that before. It's not possible. You're right. Like I the have. congressman who said yeah. that Guam was going to tip over and capsize. I know. I didn't think that someone could think that possible. way. Uh, okay, I want to go. <sighs> Let's go see. Let's see. I, I don't corny know. joke. Yeah, corny, corny joke. Let's Let's Does corny he tell joke. the cringeworthy corny joke? Take a look. Free to become prosperous. I left my last page of the speech. Does anybody ah! have my last page? Oh, oh no! You were doing so well. So I had a well, that's where that's, I wanted to go. That again. was your second See, odd. Well, um, that was whenever your gut. I'm torn, you, sometimes you have to follow your gut feeling on these I things. I always, yeah. We're staying with the Senate theme okay. this time. We're going to Ted Cruz. This is this is one of those kind of famous moments for Ted Cruz on the floor, where he said something very interesting that uh, that sort of relates to Star Wars. Star Wars. Take a look. Okay. And I will confess that phrase, a rebellion against oppression, conjured up to me. The Rebel Alliance fighting against the Empire. Fighting against the Empire. What does he say next? Does he, A, say that he cried when they shot down Porkins? <laughs> that would be in a New Hope episode four. Uh, he does a very bad impression of Emperor Palpatine. Something to the effect of... I, I have, can I, full disclosure, yeah, yeah. I don't know any of these characters. All right, well, you're at a This is going to be bad well, for that's me. that's right. You know, he says, uh, it is you, Mike Lee, who are mistaken about a great many things. <laughs> or does he do a bad impression of Vader? Mike Lee, I am your father, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And, or does he do a very bad impression of, of Lando, something to the effect of, Mike Lee, you slimy, no good swindler. You've got a lot of guts coming here after what you pulled. I, it's got to be B or, or D. Yeah. I'm going to go Palpatine. Let's go B. B, Palpatine. Let's take a look. Mike Lee. I am your father. <laughs> no! Ah! It was Vader! It was Vader. Oh, no. All right. Well, not a great uh, impres impression, by the way. Not no, no, I, I set it up that way. Yeah. I said that was not going to be the best. Next up, we have Florida Senator Bill Nelson. We're okay. staying with Florida. We're staying with he the Senate. He got me before. I yeah, he got you before. Here we go. Take a look at Nelson. When I was in the military. Well, when he was in the military, something happened when mm. he was in the military. What could that what, have been? What could it have been? Is it go. Uh, A, leather boots were still in style for manly footwear. <laughs> B, we don't take no trips on LSD, yeah. is what he said. Uh, C, he said, I looked and sounded like Forrest Stop. Gump. Could be, I don't know. Uh, or D, said he had the best intercourse of his life. No, no, that's not yeah. possible. See, yeah. that's one of those. You think I'm getting you there. Am I getting you there? Or do you really I don't know. That? I think you're baiting me. I'm baiting uh, you? But. Take the bait. Are you going to take the bait? Are you going to go another Yes, D. D. All right. Let's take a look. No. When I was in the military, certainly all the intercourse that I had as a military officer uh, was was the best. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. All the intercourse he had was the best. I didn't see it coming. Service. Is that right? Finally, I didn't finally, trust my gut. Remembering his days it. in the service. All right. We have Representative Mike Bost. Okay. Of Illinois. He's having a discussion about the uh, the pension issues in that state. Hmm. Uh, well, let's let's take a look here. Total power in one person's hands. All right. Total All power right. in one person's Total hands. Total power in one person's hands. Uh, does he a at that point then throw a comical fit, throws up his bills in the air and hits those darn bills mm. with his fist? It could be possible. Uh, does a fellow lawmaker move in to pat him on the shoulder to call him calm him down and it starts a fight? Ooh. Uh, does he say, oh, heck, I quit, to rousing applause from the chamber? Uh, or D, it's a setup, he eats a Snickers bar and says he feels much better now to rousing a, applause and laughter. 
I'm, I'm going to go A. Yeah. Uh, throws a fit. Darn Bill's fist. Let's see if he does it. Take a look. Total power in one person's hands. Not the American way. These damn bills have come out here all the damn time. Come out here in the last second. I got to try to figure yes. out for my yes. Yes. There it is. There it is. There Boy, that is a classic, okay. right? But it doesn't end there. And we're going to end go. on this one. Keep we're going to end yeah. on this one. You've got to keep going. The question is, how does that little tirade, that little fit that he throws, <laughs> how does it conclude? Are his final words, uh, A, honey, where's the title? I like that. I like that, too. Yeah. That could be it. B, I feel like someone being released from Egypt. Let my people go. When's it going to stop? Oh, man. Is it C, well, then I just hate you, and I hate <laughs> your bleep face? Wow. Uh, or is it D, kids don't like eating at school, but if they have a remains of the day lunchbox, they're a lot happier. That is so, <laughs> so bizarre. Random, it? That is bizarre. Uh, it's like, am I baiting you here? Or, 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 I'm going to go, I'm going to go A again. I, I think maybe a moment of comic relief. Honey, where's my towel? All right, take a look. I feel like somebody trying to be released from Egypt. Let my people go. <laughs> When's it going to stop? <laughs> wow. <laughs> is. Oh, so look close. He should have said that. That but, was good, though. I like that, that was ending, a classic. Too. All right. Well, I like the ending. Well, not the ending, but I like the way this round played out. Could it have been pretty better. good round. Yeah. It could have been worse, too. You're doing all right. It's true. I think you're in the heat of a playoff worse. run right now. So uh, we're going to have to play it out again next week. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. Yeah. See, you're, you're doing okay. You've got to feel good <sighs> yeah, about those numbers, especially with, uh, with a few teams that you can knock out next week. All right, Scott. Good. Thank you much.